Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 4th to the 10th, 2024 weekly reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It's listed in the description box below, and I look forward to reading for you. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly, guide this reading. Show me clearly, angels and spirit guides, angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly, guide this reading. And show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides. Okay, let me make sure you can see everything. Fantastic. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I love it. You're crowned by the sun. Okay, before we go any deeper, this is the happiest card in the whole entire deck. You know, this is, is joy, happiness, success, prosperity, brilliance. Like, this is a good week. This is a good week. So you're crowned with very, very good energy. Let's see what spirit has to say before we go deeper. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a butterfly in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced at random. So good luck to everyone. And just to note that you have to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, put the butterfly and then like and comment, and well, and subscribe in order to be entered to win a reading. So do be aware of that and hit the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever the announce the winner is announced. So let's see here, angels and spirit guides. Here we have preserve. Preserve what is sacred to you. Preserve what is important to you. Preserve that at the center of your being and at the core of your heart. Everything else just doesn't need to be in your energy sphere. Our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. This is psychic development. This is the third eye chakra. There's a blockage in our third eye chakra. So tapping on our third eye, which I'm doing right now, and it feels so good. I mean, really, it does. It just helps relieve so much tension in the face, and it's surprising how much tension we hold in our face, so do be aware of that. The psychic development here, Aquarius, is letting ourselves connect with our sixth sense, our intuition, however we say it, however we see it. We can feel scared or overwhelmed by it, or like, oh my gosh, this is too much, and spirit's like, no. This is, this is you stepping into your higher form of consciousness. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. We need to be mindful of the Lord. The Lord is Aries energy. Time frame, March 21st to April 19th. Be mindful of very controlling, tyrannical energy that just kind of wants to take over. I'm the boss. I know what I'm doing type of thing. So, you know, and, and you have to listen to me. And Aquarius, we're just not going to respond to that. It's like, you're going to listen to me because I said so. So just being aware of that is super important. We have the nine of pentacles reversed. We have the moon reversed. 
Interesting. We have the Queen of Wands in the upright position. We have the Six of Swords reversed. We have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. I'm sorry. I know nobody likes reverse cards. They're not bad. We have the Queen of Cups reversed. We have the Chariot in the upright position. We have the Three of Wands in the upright position. We have the King of Swords, which is us. We're represented by the swords in the minor arcana in the upright position. And we have the Seven of Pentacles in the upright position. So it's very interesting. The repeat of the number seven here is very much a sense of like truth coming forward. We have a lot of fear that's holding us back. And Spirit's like, why? You have such blessing here. Why are you letting fear take over? But this is like really intense emotions coming forward, really intense emotional manipulation by certain people can be coming forward as well. Just be aware of this. This can also be somebody who's very used to throwing their hissy fit, getting their way, and being a bit of a prima donna. So do be mindful about that. Doors are going to be opening to us in a very real way. And we are going to be afraid to walk through them to move forward to go after what we want to embrace what it is that we we see for ourselves so just being aware of that a lot of the fears that we have are the fears of shadows instead of like instead of things that we should we should be afraid of we should let hold us back spirit saying here don't be afraid of anything because the fear is coming from the past and the unknown of the future instead of the power of the right now and there's a lot of power right now Aquarius in your right now so so I love that for you the queen of wands is embracing your magic it's embracing your fire you're also going to be very drawn to people who have magic and fire and tenacity and beauty and brilliance to them I mean you're really going to look at people and say but they just have that spark and that spark is going to call to you so being creative embracing your creativity is going to be so important you're going to be very impatient this week you're going to want things to move forward at a speed, at a clip, you know, going after this, going after that. And yet again, we are afraid of the new season that we're going into. We're afraid that things will get all tangled up, that it will fall apart. It won't be as we envisioned and it will never be as we envisioned. Our dreams are always absolutely perfect. You know, we say the right thing. People say the right things. Everything goes exactly the right way. Everybody's happy and joyous and this and that. So cutting ourselves some slack and being like, okay, it will never be how exactly how I envisioned it, but it can be better. It can be better because it's go, it's real. And I'm letting myself embrace the real. The Knight of Swords is us being the hero of our story. And we're letting ourselves be the hero of our story. For one reason or another, we were holding ourselves back. We were doubting if we could do this. And now it's really moving forward our energy and saying, yeah, I can. Yeah, I got this. Like, I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going. I know what I want. I understand that I can be afraid, but it's like, feel the fear and do it anyway. And as we do so, we really start to, to level up in this video game of life. Like we really start to embrace a greater power, a greater tenacity, a greater beauty, a greater brilliance of ourselves. We let ourselves shine. We let ourselves move forward and we move from not being patient with ourselves and thinking we should do more to saying, you know, every seed needs time to grow and be nurtured. Everything needs time, needs connection needs presence and that's really important so I can be present here but I need to show myself that gift of showing up for me and that is an absolutely beautiful beautiful thing and that's going to be a realization we come to you know by the end of this week this real sense of no I'm showing up for myself I'm believing in myself I'm believing in my dreams I'm believing in my tenacity it moves us then to our subconscious spirit message, which is adventure reversed. <laughs> we don't really want an adventure. We we are going to find ourselves on one. We are on one at right now, but we're kind of adventured out. We're like, listen, I want a little bit of calm, a little bit of boring, a little bit of stable. Like, I'd like that. I'd like that. It'd be nice. It moves us to our chakra energy, forgiveness. There's something, there's some fear or something that we were afraid of or something that has held us back, we need to forgive ourselves for and we need to embrace our heart chakra and embrace forgiveness of our heart, of our soul, of ourselves to let us shine. It moves us to our energy to be mindful of the Ten of Pentacles, thinking other people have it figured out or that we are cursed in one way or another. We're not. Everybody stumbles in their own way. They might stumble in a, a different way of moving forward than, than you're stumbling, but everybody's just trying their best and 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 falling and picking themselves up and, and thinking other people have it easier so so being aware of that is going to be super important because it levels the field right it's like oh okay i'm not the only one like you know i'm not the only schmuck like 
wandering around here. Okay, okay, I can I can show myself grace. I can I can be kind to myself. I, I get it. So being aware of that, that's going to be very important. And it moves us to the King of Wands reversed. Subconsciously, we can have a bit of a temper or we can be thinking like, I'm not letting my passion show enough or I should be more excited about this or I should be doing more of this or I should be doing more of that. No, no, stop it. Stop it. You're always second guessing yourself, Aquarius. Stop it. And it's always going to be an absolute. It's like I'm always doing this or I'm always doing that or it's always like this. It's not always anything. So being kind to yourself and, and calming things down and stepping into your heart energy, that's going to be so important. And that's going to be so beautiful for you. It really is. Okay. All right, Aquarius. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Aquarius. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.